Hi, uh, good, good day. This is uh, Mike Donovan at Lion Dog African Safaris talking to you about uh, trekking up Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, this is actually an excerpt out of our ebook called How to Best Tour Africa. Uh, it's a free ebook, no obligation. Uh, you can order it online. Uh, just go to our uh, uh, e uh, email us or uh, phone us and we'll just send it to you. Now, Mount Kilimanjaro is located in northern Tanzania and East Africa. It's a World Heritage Site. It's the tallest mountain in uh, all of Africa and I believe it's the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. It just, you know, rises from flat plains into this humongous mountain. It it's actually consists of three uh, volcanic craters or calderas. So um, now it's almost 20,000 feet high. Uh, you, know, you know, it's really cool. It's You can actually, there's no technical skills to climb the mountain. It's the tallest mountain in the world. You can just walk to the top. Now, I don't want to uh, minimize it at all. It's it's uh, because of the altitude, it's something you need to prepare for. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a hike that uh, consists of several days. I'll explain that for you here. Um, it, it has it goes through you actually walk through or ascend through five different climatic zones there's very cool fauna along the way um, and uh, quite a few trekkers attempt to do the summit um, interestingly only uh, 60 70 percent actually succeed in uh, summiting Kilimanjaro we, we actually uh, have over 90 percent uh, success rate uh, and um, uh, there's a lot of things you need to do right uh, to successfully succeed and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss that here as well. So anyhow, uh, generally five to nine days on average to do it. Uh, no technical skills required. Uh, now the best time to do it is in, um, sorry, uh, January to mid-March and from June to October. And oftentimes um, uh, it's a good idea to uh, coincide the final ascent with a full moon because you actually uh, uh, the first several days you're 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 walk, walking up during the daytime, uh, but on the night of the summit you actually start at midnight. So you're actually uh, uh, trekking up or climbing up the mountain in, uh, from about midnight till about six o'clock in the morning. And if you have a clear sky and a full moon, man, it, it is so beautiful up there. And you can really see the stars up there. There's no power up there or anything like that. So uh, you know this is a, a definite uh, uh, challenge, and it's a, it's a roughing an experience. So you actually uh, we sleep in uh, tents. Uh, Two-man tents generally. Uh, there will be a central mess tent where they prepare all your meals for you. Uh, they're good meals. Uh, that's all included. Um, we have porters uh, carry up all the uh, supplies, your sleeping bag, your tent. Uh, basically all you're doing is carrying up an extra layer of clothing, a water bottle, and your camera. Um, and of course, here's a picture of the top. It's uh, quite an accomplishment to make it up to the top. They actually give you a, a little certificate. Um, and uh, for a lot of people, they say it's the hardest thing they've ever done because you, you really uh, are affected by uh, altitude uh, at that elevation. Uh, from about Kibo up, um, that's generally where you go. Now, there's a number of routes that you can go. Um, there's the Marangu route or the Coca-Cola route. Uh, that's the um, the most popular route, and I think it's about a typically a four-night, five-day uh, route. Um, Weka route. There's the Umbwe route. There's the Marchami route. There's the Lamosho Western Breach route, um, and then there's the Rongai route on the north side of the mountain. Now we prefer the Rongai route on the north side of the mountain for a number of reasons. One being um, it's this is the this is the wetter side of the mountain. This is where all the the clouds accumulate on the south side of the mountain. So you, you get a lot more uh, overcast uh, conditions. Uh, whereas the north north side of the mountain, it's dry. Your your back is uh, 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 facing the uh, the sun. Uh, so you have the the sun at your back. Uh, you you really another thing that's nice about the wrong guy route is you can actually see the peak of the mountain just about the entire way up. Uh, so it's kind of like a carrot dangling out there in front of you, uh, prompting you to, to push on. 
Um, the other nice thing about the Rongai route is you actually go up the uh, north side but come down the Morango route. So you get to see both sides of the mountain. So that's another big benefit of the uh, of the Rongai route. Uh, but we do have people, you know, some people like to do the Lamosha route because it takes a couple days longer. And you can actually, um, you sleep uh, the last night right at the, the peak. Um, so, you know, that appeals to some people as well. Uh, it's a little more expensive. This is a more expensive route than the other routes just because of the uh, the time involved, extra time involved. Uh, the porters have to carry your gear up high, to a higher elevation. Uh, as opposed to say the Morangu route, it's a uh, shorter route, uh, shorter in days I should say. Um, you still have to climb the same number of feet. <laughs> um, and um, uh, you know it's just a more popular oh you don't have to drive all the way around to the other side of the mountain as well so th each route costs a little bit more don't get sucked into one of these cheap cheap deals uh climbing mount kilimanjaro because what happens is you end up with unscrupulous operators who will not pace you properly will not feed you properly may use uh, inferior equipment and you're failure rate for using unscrupulous operators is extremely high so again our, our philosophy is if you're going to do it do it right and uh, so we use uh, excellent uh, 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 operator here for our, uh, uh, our trekking up Kilimanjaro um, a, lot of, a lot of people have to ask themselves why they climb Kilimanjaro I mean it's not a uh, it's not a, a walk in the park it's 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 a it's a hike uh, over several days. Now, here, a lot of the reasons why people climb Kilimanjaro is in the ebook. I'm not going to read through them all, but um, there, there's a reason, you know, maybe one or two reasons that apply to you why you might want to climb Kilimanjaro. The nice thing too about Kilimanjaro is it's it's j j very close to the northern park circuit for the safari and also uh, the uh, the gorillas in Rwanda is nearby and of course you're just a hop skip and a jump from Zanzibar so you know you can uh, combine readily combine uh, climb up Kilimanjaro with other activities uh, while you're there in Africa um, I explained uh, about the five the six are uh, the wrong route you can actually do it in uh, uh, six days five nights or you can do it in seven days six nights uh, if you if you live at sea level you might want to add another day or two to the truck to give your body more time to acclimatize uh, as I mentioned we we provide the guides the porters the cook the food the sleeping mats airport tra mountain transfers the hotel um, now the other thing that we also have is uh, the preparing for Kilimanjaro guidebook so I'm just going to slide that over here um, and so when people sign up with us we uh, uh, give them this book it's a very good book. Um, there's a lot of information out there on Kilimanjaro and some of it is contradictory and misleading and so on. So uh, we, we wrote our own book and if you just follow our book on Kilimanjaro you won't have any issues at all. So we have uh, uh, arrival orientation, we talk about meals, some people uh, raise money when they climb Kilimanjaro. We do talk a little more about the wrong guy route but we, as I say we do all the routes um, it's just that we, we, we believe that the Rongai route, uh, especially for first timers, um, offers them the best chance, uh, best success rate of climbing Kilimanjaro and, and that has other advantages as well. We talk about acclimatization, um, you, 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 you know, we talk about Dymox and a whole bunch of things uh, to help people uh, overcome altitude. We talk about the toilets on Kilimanjaro, we talk about tipping, ment physical mental preparation. Um, don't underestimate Mount Kilimanjaro. It's it's like I say a lot of people say it's the hardest thing they've ever done Talk about trekking gear drinking water washing up sundry items first aid kit talk about the final ascent um, We talk about dividing responsibilities other considerations rentals suggested reading um, We no longer have the Kili tracker um, there's a, 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 a link to current weather on Kilimanjaro at different altitudes. So anyhow, uh, this this is a good book. Uh, has a lot of links in it that you can open up for more information. Uh, so you know this is this is the book uh, that we use for our clients, and that uh, they're there people here getting served uh, uh, their meals in a tent. We do talk about what's served for uh, for meals. We do accommodate special diets. 
So uh, anyway, that's all there uh, in our our guide book. So I'm just going to swing that out of the way there. Now, um, other things. Uh, now we 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 use Tanzanian companies. We don't use. Uh, um, uh, what we call Wazungu or, or white run uh, uh, operators. Uh, don't be pr fooled by uh, the the the, guy, um, the the the. There's a controversy here about how much the porters are paid. Uh, in my mind, this is a contrived controversy to 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 charge people more money. Um, we use uh, a, a Tanzanian company. They there's there's the. They, there's a set established payment for the, what the porters have to be paid. We uh, abide by those uh, uh, rules. Uh, so anyhow, uh, we provide the guides, porters, food, all that, uh, hotel. Now, uh, you can also rent portable toilets. You can rent oxygen bottles and hypobaric gamma bags. Quite frankly, they're, in my opinion, they're a waste of money. Um, if anybody's you know, pushing that on you, I'm... Uh, saying that uh, you're probably dealing with a company that's uh, uh, you know trying to overcharge you. Uh, we do suggest equipment rentals like uh, poles and uh, um, gators and some people like a lot of people uh, rent sleeping bags but we do recommend you bring along a, um, a sleeping bag liner because we don't know how, how, how well they clean these sleeping bags. So uh, generally though that's the, uh, the gist of our uh, approach to climbing Kilimanjaro. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a excerpt out of our, our ebook called How to Best Tour Africa. It's a PDF document. Uh, you can order it online. It's free, no obligation.